travel restrictions have made it a very quiet summer here at Vancouver International Airport, but Air Canada is trying to change that by promoting leisure flights to the United States. As the COVID-19 pandemic continues with no end in sight, some are calling the airline irresponsible. Call Air Canada's customer support line and you'll hear this message. Are you eager to reunite with friends and relatives in the U.S.? Did you know that Canadians are permitted to travel by air to and from the U.S. for leisure or business? A promotion to fly into the United States for non-essential travel. Air Canada, you know, in the industry, is pushing it. They really are pushing it. Aviation expert John Graddick calls the recording a desperate attempt to get the public flying during a pandemic. And they're using the word specifically, leisure. Um, you know, that... To me, he says, go to Vegas, go to Florida, go to California, go wherever you want to go for leisure. Uh, we'll fly you there. Land borders are closed to non-essential travel to and from the United States. There are no restrictions on non-essential travel by air, but the federal government continues to advise against it. Graddick says Air Canada is exploiting a loophole by promoting leisure travel. He feels the company's actions will force the feds to put more restrictions in place, hurting the entire airline industry. The next step is for them to shut down air travel between Canada and the U.S. And that probably was going to be the next, the next uh, shooter drop. Air Canada defends its promotion of leisure travel, saying the shipment of medical goods, repatriation flights and family reunification flights all fall within the category of non-essential travel. The airline says in a statement, it is important to note that Air Canada has publicly confirmed it does not advocate a full reopening of transborder services. On the topic of health, it says Air Canada has put in place industry-leading biosafety measures to protect customers and employees traveling with us. But you're still going to be flying on airplanes that are going to be, for all intents and purposes, pretty close to being full. And you're flying with people that you don't know and you have no idea what their current health status is and you're going to be flying in those airplanes for at least three to four hours. Would you feel comfortable in that environment? I rest my case. But with no flight restrictions in place, the choice lies with the traveler. Are you eager to reunite with friends and relatives in the U.S.? In Vancouver, Travis Prasad, City News.